How's it going ladies and gentlemen, this is Jeff with I Download Blog. Let's talk about OXO version 1.2. This is the latest update to OXO that should be available in the Cydia store tomorrow. As you remember, OXO is the tweak that reinvigorates the app switcher. You have a full screen previews as you see here. You have much improved music controls and you have toggles. Well, notice here you have actually three rows of toggles and some additional toggles to go along with that. So that is one of the changes for version 1.2, more toggles, and they include flashlight, vibration, location, respring, and VPN toggles. So again, more toggles in a third row to accommodate all those extra toggles. Now with that in mind, your list in the configuration section of the OXO settings has to have all the visible toggles there. And then you also have the option to slide those down into the hidden toggles location so that you can hide the ones you don't want displayed. You can reorder them as you like. And keep in mind that there will always be at least one hidden toggle uh, included in this list. So you have to have at least one because notice if you try to drag up that last hidden toggle, it will not let you add it to the visible toggle. So there needs to be at least one hidden one and the rest of them you can have all visible if you like to do that. Of course, you can swap them out. For instance, I'll slide this one down here and I'll slide respring back up and there you go. Simple, no? In OXO version 1.2, you'll notice a new feature called Toggles Page First. This allows you to swap around the auxiliary page orders. Now, what do I mean by this? Well, let me show you right now. Both the music controls and the toggles count as auxiliary pages. They are outside of the normal app switcher. So you can actually swap those around and you can put the toggles page first instead of your music controls first. So if I swipe, swipe over now, you'll notice the toggles page comes first and then last on the list is the music controls. So you can easily swap these two around just by enabling the toggles page first option at the top of the configuration page. Now there's also this new section called prompt options. And here, as the name so cleverly alludes to, you can change the way the prompts function in OXO. By default, the first option, ask on remove all, is enabled. And this will basically prompt you when you try to remove all your apps using a tap and hold, just like this. Do you want to remove all apps from the multitasking tray? Well, you select no and it goes away. Or you can select yes and it will remove all your apps from the tray. So if you did this on accident or you had second thoughts and you decided, hey, I better not close all those apps, you have a second chance to say no. But if you disable ask on remove all, everything will be removed immediately. You won't get a second chance just like this. I'm gonna tap and hold and bam, they're all gone. No prompt, no second chances, so you better know what you're doing if you have that option disabled. One of my favorite features of the new OXO is this second to last option here, do not close on remove all. It contains a list of VIP applications that will not be removed even when you remove all apps. So let me show you what I mean. I just selected Chrome in that list. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to tap and hold to remove everything. And notice Chrome still stays active because it is a VIP app. I designated it right here in the VIP app section. You can also do the same thing with currently playing apps if you wanna do that. Also was already an awesome jailbreak tweak upon initial release, but this latest version, version 1.2, really tightens things up. It's a more cohesive experience, more options, and it's a statement by the team behind Also that they plan to support this tweak for a very long time to come. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. This is Jeff with iDownloadBlog.